I wouldn't say that there's like high confidence that the first flight will work. Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Today, with another SpaceX ABC series episode, letter F for first orbital test flight. Yeah, we are all still waiting for the holy grail of SpaceX's testing campaign to happen. The first orbital test flight of a Starship and Super Heavy prototype. Since the one and only successful test flight and flawless landing of Starship prototype SN15 in May 2021 and the current spin prime and static fire tests of course, not much has happened in Boca Chica in this regard. SpaceX enthusiasts in 2021 were all expecting to see further test flights of those serial number Starship prototypes because SN16 and SN18 had already been built and could have been fully stacked for their first test flight. But Musk then decided to go all in, skipping those Starship prototype test flights and directly moving on to a fully stacked Starship and Super Heavy orbital test flight. I still have the impression that the data collected during SN15's successful start and landing in 2021 was already sufficient for SpaceX's data analysts to move on. Elon Musk already started tweeting about a potential date of an upcoming first orbital test flight in March this year, then it had been shifted to May, then July, then August, and now the most recent prediction of Elon is November. I must admit that I was overly optimistic in my past Starship update videos, so I would be absolutely amazed if we could still witness the first test flight into orbit this year. But what to expect from this so important test flight for SpaceX and how does it work? Let me explain it to you. The Starship and Super Heavy prototype will both be stacked and fueled on the orbital launch mount. The 33 Raptor engines on Super Heavy will then ignite and propel Starship to the sky. After having reached a certain height, Starship will separate from its booster and ignite its six Raptor engines. Meanwhile, Super Heavy will twist and start its descent towards Earth. After the separation, Super Heavy will be slowed down by reigniting some of its Raptor engines and finally it will splash down in the Atlantic Ocean by means of a smooth water landing. Because of the complexity of this test flight, SpaceX and Elon Musk decided to have a water landing mainly for safety reasons. However, there are still rumors around that SpaceX might actually try to catch the returning Super Heavy booster out of mid-air after the very first launch attempt. Although it is the clear goal of SpaceX to use their launch and catching tower Mechazilla for catching boosters and starships in the near future, I would be surprised if we see a catch attempt during the first orbital test flight. Meanwhile, our Starship prototype will be further on propelled to orbit. It will then travel around the Earth once, start its deorbit burn and will splash land in the Atlantic Ocean as well. You see, a lot of things must happen to successfully conduct this first orbital test flight. I am, however, as always, pretty optimistic that SpaceX will succeed. If both prototypes make it to orbit and do not explode on the pad, we might see a lot more test flights out of Boca Chica, Texas. So, let's keep our fingers crossed for the first successful test flight to still happen this year. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then a thumbs up below my video would be highly appreciated. In the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful week and see you soon in my next video. Ciao! For the first orbital launch, our goal is uh, to make it to orbit without blowing up. Yeah. That's our goal. Yep. Um, and frankly, if we even get the if the booster even does its job and something goes wrong with the ship, I would still count that as good progress. Yeah. Um, like basically, actually, to be totally frank, if it takes off without blowing up the <laughs> right. blowing up the stand, the stage zero, which right. is much harder to replace than the booster, uh, that would be a victory. So please do not blow up on the stand. That's what I'm more concerned.